answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Spore Let's Play Darkest Dungeon, the Lum Mod, with me, your host, Tim. Remember, this is a modded version of the game. You can see Red Hook's stance on modding their game down below in this video's description. Also remember that down there, I will hopefully have remembered myself to put a pinned comment down there with some timestamps allowing you to jump ahead to different parts of the video in case lum-related things don't interest you and you don't care about the town-related stuff. Okay, so I just uploaded part like 48, I think, and I got a few comments on it about, from you, especially Destruction42K, about adding some new abilities. So I wanted to talk about them really quick, because whenever I get a big big info dump on stuff to add, I want to cover why I will or won't do the, some of the changes. And I like some of what you, what you put there, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and, and cover this really fast, or as fast as I'm humanly able to do this. So, the bad thing, the manservant, I think that's the little guy with the dead, f with the food uh, on the tray. You uh, suggested adding a move called Madden Maddening Dismissal, which targets the front two ranks, pushes them away, uh, three spots, I think, and inflicts a stress dot on them, doing three points of damage over three rounds and hitting them with minus five dodge. Uh, I, I like that ability, but I'm not going to have it at... Um, I won't have it target the front two ranks. I'll have it just target the front rank or the second rank. One of those two spots can get targeted with it. And I'll, I will make it a horror check. We'll go ahead and make it a... Probably a four dot damage over three rounds, and I'm fine with the with the dodge penalty on it too. So I'll try to get that coded up and into him. Um, maybe not before the next video, but the one after that. I'll try to make it. I'll try to get that done before the weekend hits. Today is July 30th, 2017. Just to just so people have some frame of reference as to when I'm recording this particular video. For the master as well, you like you had an idea for trans transformed. It's basically his blooded self. He would use something called Sanguine Sacrifice, where he damages himself a little bit, give himself a self-heal, transforms himself back into his human form, buffs his allies with plus 2 speed, plus 10 accuracy, and heals them 50% of the hit points. So, I don't like the idea of these guys going from their vampire form back to their human form. I I, I like it with that once they're, once they're fed, they remain fed. And if I'm going to be honest, that ability is really super strong. I don't think I'd be comfortable adding that to the monsters. Uh, it would have to kill... He would have to kill himself to do that to his friends. But I don't think he would do that anyway. None of the creatures generally sacrifice themselves. I can think about it. They're willing to protect someone else with their, with their bodies, but not blow themselves up, with the exception of the zombie. So I, I'll, I'll skip that one. I like the idea, though. Hmm. Might be useful to have a different creature kill itself. To do that, but I don't think I want any of the courtyard creatures killing themselves. I want them attacking and having another chance to put the curse on someone else. They also do decent st oh stress damage. I'll have to talk about that too soon. For the sycophant, you had an ability to had, had an idea to add a new ability called Desperate Devour. It basically works similar to the uh, Carrion Eater feed that I have in my in my mod currently, but I, I like the Carrion Eater's ability being kind of unique. And the sickle fans, they don't really eat corpses, they just drain blood from things. So I don't think I'm going to give them the feed ability. I, I really wanted feed on the carrion eaters, and I need to improve it. I still haven't done that. That and rile up. I need to make them a little better for those creatures. I still, still haven't gotten that done. For the chevalier, you had an idea of adding something called cleansing pain. It will clear an ally, or multiple allies, of their bleeds and blights, or rather transfer them, to himself. And... He boosts the bleed and blight resistance on them and gains an extra 25% damage and 5 crit. That's... I like that ability. Like, that's that's annoying. <laughs> I have to try to fight the Chevalier doing that, keeping his allies alive. I'm not sure, if though, if I want to add it to him. Uh, only because the Chevalier is so dangerous right now with constantly attacking non-stop. If it doesn't attack, if it spends a turn to... Well, okay, so here's the thing, right? If it, if it clears bleeds and blights then those creatures might survive another round. It's going to tick at least once because the Chevalier is slow. Uh, it's like one speed. But I really like the Chevalier just keeping what it's currently got. This is It all falls down to it's got to really be worth the creature not attacking and putting damage on the creatures to warrant doing anything else for its allies. Like Even, even the rile up and feed abilities I've made for some of these creatures 
I'm still still not sure about them. Like they need to be even better than they currently are. Like a lot better probably if if I'm going to keep them in. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, the courtesan, you recommended giving like mind your manners, uh, a minus 10% stun and dodge debuff, and I like that. I'm going to go ahead and and add that in. Um, that is it needs a little bit of something extra, I think. So, I will go ahead and, and do that. That minus percent stun resistance is really nice, especially because if there's a Chevalier around, it will, that would be awesome. Uh, helping it stun the heroes a little bit more effectively. For Love Lover's Kiss, which would be another ability she has in her transformed form, it would reduce the... Uh, you rec uh, recommend is the wrong word. You suggested having that ability. It reduces the bleed, blight, and prop resistance of the target by 15%, and gives them a stress resistance penalty as well, dealing a little bit of damage and slightly more damage to mark targets. Uh, I like this, but if I'm going to be honest, I'd rather... Any other ability I give to the Courtesan, which isn't its 10 stress to everyone, what is that, um, Careless Secrets, I'm very glad she did it. And in fact, she's kind of weak right now. Like when she uses that ability that shuffles her entire group and gives them a damage or something bonus, I'm so glad she did it because it's not more stress damage to us and or it's not her trying to thirst someone. And so I'm hesitant to add another thing like that to her. Um, if I was to add this ability, I would take away that odd shuffle she has. I don't know why she has it. I don't see it really helping her side at all. But I, I take that ability away to give her this. And if I was to do that as well, I don't think I'd have it do any more damage to mark targets. I, what I'd probably do is it would still do a tiny bit of damage, but it would cause 10 or 12 stress or a horror effect to the target, rather than just, um... Uh, actually, probably instead of reduce Bleed Blight or Prots. Or maybe in addition to that, and then no damage. But I, I really want her to deal stress damage. Again, every time she's not using Careless Secrets, I am so glad she's not doing that. 10 more stress to everyone is nasty. Very nasty. For the Esquire, uh, I'm just going to say that I really like the Esquire as he currently is in the game. Uh, he's pretty dangerous. I don't really want him getting any new abilities. Because I think he's fine uh, the way he is. He is at thirst. Uh, he has a move we haven't seen, which he shoots someone with a pistol, and he has a stab through with that repair of his that also gives him repost. I like all of these, and that, that's the other issue with giving new abilities to to creatures. And it's still a problem with with I say problem. It's something I, I'm always paying attention to with the new stuff I give to the the pigs, like that rile up ability. Is that he's not using the abilities his other abilities. To be fair, with Rile Up, limiting it to, like, he's only going to use it when there's other creatures who can really benefit from it. I think that kind of balances it out. And most of the time, it's better than him using the marked target he's got anyway. So, with the Esquire, I really want him using the abilities he's got currently, rather than adding another, another move to his mix. For the Museum Coin, I really want the Museum Coin to just be something you only can use on that museum bag and at the time of this recording I have just added three more loot picks to the museum bag if you do use museum coins so you, now you get a lum trinket and it picks between a new loot table I made which will give you coins and gems as a reward so I really want there to be a big payoff if you decided to risk lo losing the inventory slot and if I let that coin be used on anything else well that means it's paying you off in other ways so I really want to limit it I am willing to add the museum bag as a room curio, though, to increase your chances of getting that bag. I just want to play through it a few times, like maybe three or four more dungeons, and see if we get that museum bag at all, just to see if I do want to up the chance a tiny bit. And finally, you mentioned why not add blueprints as a boss reward. So, currently... Mm, sorry, what the heck? Sorry, that, that's really disgusting. Right! So, currently... Blueprints always drop from veteran and champion bosses. So you're going to get eight of them. Plus the one that you earn as a quest, uh, as a town event, indicating that, hey, these things are in the game. So that's nine total. And there is no real difference. Well, okay. There was actually a tiny difference between adding them as a quest reward versus having the boss drop them. And that is that you have to drop something if you want the blueprint. 
from leaving the dungeon, as opposed to you getting it as a guaranteed quest reward, which gives you an extra inventory space to leave the dungeon with. Currently, I'm still going to leave it alone as a boss drop. I also don't know how many quest rewards this screen allows you to show. I mean, we can see four, and that fits on these nicely. All the bosses already show you four things that are in it. I have a hunch if I add one additional thing, it might put it just off to the side here. But I, I think it's fine leaving them as guaranteed boss drops, though I can understand, again, why you would want them as a quest reward. First off, it would show the player, that, hey, you beat this boss, you get a quest reward, because you don't have to kill all the bosses, you can just ignore the bosses. You can ignore all the bosses in the game, just level up everybody on non-bosses. But the bosses give you extra stuff, so... I... I... Hmm... Currently, I'm going to leave it alone, and we'll see how I feel about that after the, the next one or two boss battles that we do. Apathy Knight, you let, left me but your second journal entry. That is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and try to remember to get the journal entries added either tonight or tomorrow. I didn't do it at all on the weekend. I really meant to, but I haven't. I didn't. I got distracted by other lump things, and then I began playing Witcher 3 again. So I'm, I'm bad at this. I'll go ahead and do it, though. And Unwanted Opinions... Your girlfriend has asked, to, or you have asked that your girlfriend be in here. We will go ahead and add her in over for Brawn. And I really need to begin leveling these people. I will begin leveling my lower level, level 1s, and uh, level 0s and 2s, once we're cleared of the curse. Because we have way too many people cursed at the moment. Oh god, I hope I get this correct. Ingenious Queen shall be her name. No space. Welcome aboard, miss. Glad to have you with us. Oh, right, and Destruction 42k, you also suggested a few curio changes. Um, I don't want to, I don't really want to add, again, the museum coin to anything else, but I like the idea of having a key work on something in the courtyard. So I added the key as a, something you could interact with the, uh, the caged corpse. It actually took me a bit to find that, because it's not called that in the game files. The, that corpse, that caged corpse is called, I think it's called, like, fun games or something like that like what the people I guess did when they were busy doing all those evil horrible things in the courtyard area so it's been added you can go ahead and do it and it will give you the same reward as if you used the shovel which will be three picks from the heirloom table if I recall correctly now what else have I done in the lum mod so okay oh right and we should talk a little bit about the end of the last video there our battle against Wolf and Johannesle so uh I didn't realize at the time, until it was all over, of course, that you lost someone if you retreated from that dungeon. Oh man, that was rough. Um, I'm, and I made it sound like I'm going to go change it. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not currently going to change it. Uh, I didn't back up my save file, though, before that battle. And I don't really want to. I'll, I'll take the loss over on that place. Hey, it's risk versus reward, right? And I didn't know. I also went into it blind, having never done that before. So really quick, I think I did the wrong thing. I shouldn't have done any exploring. We should have gone straight for where I suspected the boss would be. Which would be, if we're looking at the courtyard, right in front of us, he was by the graveyard. Right there, right? We came in through the, um, here through the embark. We went over here to the tavern. And then I went exactly into the tavern. Then I left and came back up this way. So, we should have gone straight for him. We took way too much stress damage on the way up. Um... For the boss fight itself, I looked at his AI and I looked at how it worked. He's basically the cannon battle. And, uh... <laughs> uh the only things I might change for him is that I might lower the damage that the bomb does somewhat. Uh, that does an impressive amount of damage to a single target. Now, to be fair, it's not the cannon, which basically one-shots the entire group. But his, oh god, he, he's nasty. His, looking at his abilities of what he can do. Uh, something else I didn't realize is that if you destroy that, that box of bombs, the bomb he threw at you also doesn't go off. So, he's basi that's basically the match lighter for this. And he always summons those two front brigands all the time. At least judging from what, from what I saw. Maybe, maybe, maybe he does summon an AoE guy as well. But from what I, uh, what I quickly saw, I didn't notice that. So the, the issue with I'm having with him is that, oh god, the cannon fight takes forever. It takes so long. And to be fair, it's an attrition battle, so it better feel it, like it takes that long. In that regard, I brought the wrong group with me. 
I needed a Hellion or a Arbalest to take out that bag of bombs, that the box crate, every round, just like I'm fighting the whatchamacallit. We didn't bring a group able to do that. So, I brought the wrong group with me. I also should have brought a Vestal for the AoE healing, rather than the, um, whatchamacallit. Um, you know what I'm talking about, the Occultist. So I brought the, I brought the wrong group, we didn't do well, we got stressed out way beforehand, and everyone got afflicted, and it went really against us in that estate. So, with all that said, because I didn't back up the save file, I can't test it, so once it happens again, I'll be testing that battle quite a bit. And I will probably do some changes to it. I'll either lower his max hit points a little bit so that you can go through the battle a little faster. Similar to what I did in this estate. So in veteran level and champion levels here, the cannon, I believe I lowered its hit points somewhat. So you're not locked in battle with it like for like 50 turns, which is, God, <laughs> it takes too long. So I might lower his hit points a little bit. And I might lower the damage on the bomb a bit as well. So it's not a one hit kill to someone if you don't kill the box. But I'm going to leave that damage high, because I do want you suffering for it. And overall, I think I lost that battle because I brought the wrong group with me. So, I won't do any changes to him unless, until I play, until, until I do that battle once or twice. Just, well, actually, a few times, so I can get the feel for the fight and see how I'm doing. Oh, what else have I done? So, I revisited the courtyard creatures, and I didn't add damage stress to a lot of the abilities that I thought I had, or I lost that. So I went ahead and re-added damage stress to a ton of other abilities that the creatures have, and I lowered their stress causing abilities a bit. So we'll have we will play test this and see how balanced it is. Now, it's gonna be tough to play te to test it with our normal group who goes in there, because those guys are really good at getting rid of stress. So I don't think we're gonna really see that much of a difference. Actually, no, we will see a difference, because if you have well no. We shouldn't see that much of a difference, because if I've done things right, we should still end up with the same amount of stress, it's just that all the creatures are causing it. Maybe we'll actually end up with a little more stress, because I tend to leave the Chevaliers to last. And they will call it, they should be causing stress with their abilities now. And what else have I done? I think that's it so far. Yes, it's so far. So, so for an example, for the stress damage, um, most of the creatures, they inflicted... I want to say they inflicted like 8 or 10 stress. Actually, I think it was 8, 10, 12 stress. That they were Apprentice, Veteran... Actually, so, okay. So, the Sycophants inflicted 6... No, sorry. 8, 10, 12 stress with their Feed abilities. Their Thirst abilities. There we go. If they were Apprentice, Veteran, or Champion level. I reduced that stress to 6, 8, and 10, I think? Or 6, 7, 8. But other creatures now add stress with their attacks. So, it should all balance itself out. With you, if you target the mosquitoes first, you still end up taking stress damage from the other things. And I think that will be fine for the mod. And what else have I done? Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. The Houndsmaster Curios are in, or should be in. So that should be working. The last thing I'm going to probably end up doing is lowering the chance that these things show up in my... Uh, as a quest reward. Uh, I... Which is to say, I'm going to weight the normal ones even a little bit more. I shouldn't be seeing th two of these show up. Now, granted, it's, it's just random number chance, so maybe that was the case. But I don't like seeing this here. It happened over in Yohannathlay as well. So I'm going to make these a little bit more rare for the quest rewards. Okay, now I think that's all the lump stuff. Let me save that off really quick. Okay, now it's time for town-related things. Alright, so what are we off to do? Oh, right, we should look at some of the stuff we picked up and brought back with us, too. Alright, so, Apathy Knight. You need some stress recovery. KK. Oh, I don't like seeing Dud Hitter. But if I put you guys in, then I can't cure Hysterical Blindness on Chris, who really needs that cured. Who else has stress? Where are we going? Pincer of Fate. Luho. Apathy Knight. KK, all of you guys have lots of stress. Okay, Chris can come in here and have that cured. Since he's going in there, that would only mean that I would want someone else in here who doesn't have any curse on them. Slugger, when I pick up that. All right, uh, I'm going to throw myself in here and lock evasive
for my cursed people, they're gonna spend some time getting their stress down. We have quite a bit of this to deal with as well. And no one else has leveled up, so okay, that will do it for that. How's our med wagon? Cleansing crystal, very useful. Who would have that though? We could give it to you, Raphael Perry. You could drop Dismas's head for that. Oh, Raphael, you need to. Okay, that's right. You are using zealous accusation. Hmm. Nine thousand is actually tempting. We could make that even cheaper if I wanted. How close are we to getting the next building created? I think I wanted... Oh, actually, I don't know what I wanted next. We got the... Right, we got the granary done like a week or two ago. We're very close to the bank. I don't really need the bank. The torchlight one could be useful. But I think instead we'll just hold on to our stuff. So, I, or, we'll, let's spend it. Yeah, we'll make this a little cheaper. I really do want the cleansing crystal. Let's figure out where we're going first. So, we're not going back here for two more weeks because we have to recover stress and get rid of quirks on that group. So, we could go after the 12-pounder. Do I have a group who's able to do that? So, Styx says, if it bleeds, an iron swan. Doesn't really want to be here, though. But we could bring you sticks. Hmm. Who else would come along with us then? Beast Hater. Natural Swing is really useful where we're going. So we could bring unwanted opinions with us. Poetic 2 would come with us as well. So we can get guaranteed kills on that one gentleman. And then maybe, oh, north? Actually, does everyone here have self-heals? You don't, Styx. You're the only person. Which means I would want you to have Adrenaline Rush. And I'd probably drop Breakthrough for this adventure. Where are you, Styx? So we take this group with us. For another tough ring. But it would kill this boss, and I think I want to do that. Okay, so with that in mind, that's what that's the group we'll bring. We can throw some more people in here. We can throw probably one or two more people in here. For some stress recovery. I'm sorry, for stress recovery. For some quirk removal and or locking. We have no one who really wants to be in the wield. Oh, we do have wield adventure on Dank Dude. Oh, Dank Dude could come along instead of our Arbalest, I suppose. No. Oh, then again, that's more AoE, Tim. AoE and another shot at the bank ra at the back rank if I need it. And you can mark a target. No, I, I want to bring North, though. Speaking of North, where are you, North? What abilities do you have? The back stun. Front plague grenade. This will be fine. Okay. So, let's put... can get rid of one more quirk. We should get rid of a locked quirk. Let's get rid of something on Lord Gem King Rock. We'll get rid of Light Sensitive. I don't... Do I want to spend $6,000? Yeah, we'll spend 6000 bucks. We'll take something else. Wow, these are all decent. I'm going to take Stout for that disease and debuff resist, I think. Okay, and for trinkets, what am I doing with these? I guess we're just going to hold on to them. How's our 
place here looking. Oh, these are decent on you. Santaphobia is bad. Oh, we do need another low level healer. We could grab the last thing of the stagecoach and just take her. Could also take another. Wow, you hate creatures. Sure, let's do it. I'm gonna want this upgraded anyway eventually, so. Great heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. Okay, so we're all set. We've spent all the money I'm willing to spend this week. Let's go get this done. Nice, you start with nine food on this mission already. So one, and we're good to go with just that. We will bring more bandages and more anti-venom. Actually, we should bring a full stack of these. Two more medicinal herbs. We have two cursed people, so we'll bring three bloods. Two holy... Uh, sure. Two holy waters. Two keys. A full thing of shovels. Let's actually bring a little more food with us. Oh, right. We'll also bring a single museum coin with us. Oh, and torches. Tim, you need torches. Okay, 6,000 bucks spent on this. Oh, I need to use restroom. I'll be right back, everyone. Okay. Let's go. The wild whispers of heresy roused the rabble to violent action. Such was the general air of rebellion that even my generous offer of gold to the local constabulary was rebuffed. To reassert my rule, I sought out unscrupulous men skilled in the application of force. Tight-lipped and terrifying, these mercenaries brought with them a war machine of terrible implication. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Okay, everyone. Even though this is a boss fight, I will be talking during this. I will do the silent boss runs on champion level. I know where he is. He's down here to the right. So the question becomes, how greedy am I? And I'm not sure how greedy I am at the moment. We have giants, unclean giants to contend with here. And I'm tempted to just go straight for them. I'm really tempted to go straight for the cannon and do that battle, and then double back if we want to. In fact, let's do that. Oh, I want to go out to the right because that requires the least amount of travel. I'm going to poke out here first, though. I don't see any curios, so now we'll go out this way. Nice try, mushrooms. Interesting. We can pick up a lot of curios if we go the other way, as opposed to a battle in here, but if this is a tentacle shrine, I will be glad to have come into this room. Let's let's do this. They're craving right now, but I don't want them bloodlusted, so we're not going to use blood either. Um, we'll use a single holy water right now on north. Right. Well, we have Hugh, so we're not going to do too much damage. So why don't we protect Sticks Pain? Revenge her. We'll stun the back two. Stop that from happening again. I really want to kill one of these, but we can do that with our Arbalist. And we'll begin working on the giant. He's very dangerous because of, uh, because of the smackdown. And I'm going to mark... 
the battery. Let's move back to... That's a shame, actually. And I'm gonna now have to kill her. I might be able to blight the giant. It's an 80%... It has 80% resistance. We have a 40% chance... 60... 90... Still resisted. Good for him. Let's protect. Let's revenge again. I'm gonna have to give you your stress recovery ability. Unwanted. I'm gonna have to equip with Stan because you're already taking a lot of stress damage. Actually, we're going to kill it now with a bleed. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, God. 18 damage. We can stun her again, and I think we will. Oh, no, we did not. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Another tree branch happens. Oh no! Thank you. I kind of need to be back here. Annihilated. Heal a tiny bit and give us our damage accuracy buff. We can't stun this guy. Let's heal then a little bit. Oh right, we can't heal at all because the blasphemous vile. All right, let's revenge again. Death waits for the, oh, the worst possible mix as well. A momentary abatement. This giant's gonna kill this group. We're just too slow. Impressive. We'll camp right after this fight, I suppose. I don't even care anymore. We just need this thing to die. Oh, that was a big mistake, Tim. Now he can't heal from that position. Terrible. Ornaments. Neatly ordered. Lovingly admired. And you'll use this as well, which will get your stress down, I think. Let's move to the next room. Uh, we could do that room battle. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Do we do the room battle and then camp? I think we can probably survive it, unless it's another unclean giant in there. We'll try. 
I just realized we can't stop the nighttime ambush, so that's going to be really awkward for this group. We need the treasure. Nice. Some free torches will be really helpful. All right, let's do this. This will be good practice, Tim, because this is what you'll be fighting soon enough. Let's stun them. Try to kill this one who hasn't gone yet. Um, we'll protect our revenge or Hellion again. Getting ready for the pistol shot. Obliterated. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. There's a lot of bleeds. Oh, even got through your bleed resistance. 165! Alright, well, we're not doing anything about that. Let's at least clear your bleed. We can't heal you. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Oh, God, it's gonna be one of these adventures. <laughs> Let's heal. I think he disables the delay mechanic. I think. I knew it. She was waiting until she wasn't being revenged. from this battle. Put some more damage on him so he really starts bleeding. Yep. Nice. The bandages are helping with the healing for that. Unwanted, we can have you... Hit it. A momentary abatement. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay. Are we dropping anything? We should make this exchange. I do want busts, but I think we need money more. Actually, do we need the money? Yeah, we do. We spent a lot of money. We're down to 15000 Let's see if we got the scout. Okay, we're going to rest here. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. I'm glad she at least ate the food. Okay, so... What are we doing? Let's... Hmm. Let's reflection, as always, to get that accuracy and crit up. Sure, we'll retrain the crossbow. And now it becomes a problem of stress. Kind of. I wouldn't mind having another combat ability. Battle Trance could be useful here. Um, I think, though, that Experiment of Vapors could be useful, but that's a lot of stress added. Let's do this. Uh, that's a lot of damage to put on her. If 
we use it on you, you could reject the gods to get rid of all that stress. Sure, let's do that. And that will have to do. You can, especially with that buff on you. Oh, wait a minute, wasn't that supposed to affect three things? I'll have to double check that ability once we're out of this screen. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. That is dodge and crit, but not affecting her damage. All right, there's a bug in that. That's good to know. Well, it can't affect it at the moment anyway. So, I'll fix that after this is done. I had no idea that was bu that was broken. We have two keys. We'll use one of them here. Unless we get really unfortunate and get two battles in this hallway, we will also benefit from this for the upcoming fight. Oh, we could fight the Collector here. But this group should be able to handle the Collector. I can't stun them, so we'll just have to blight them. Darn it, wow. What's their speed? Two. Alright, let's try killing the mosquito. Decimated. Stun them. Their speeds are too. Wow, they. Oh, our speeds are slow as well. Let's just. We can bleed them with 70% chance. What do we have again? That's a 50. Plus 20, 70, 90. Doctor destroyed as victories mount, so too will resistance. All right, let's use that blood now, I guess. Let's eat a little food. Oh, crap. You're gonna get minus 100% healing. Oh! No, it still works for you. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Um, money. I'm really tempted to drop the coin. I don't think it's gonna come in useful. Darn it, Tim. Really? Drop the ant. No, bandages. No. We'll leave the money at the moment. I'll make my. Uh, we're gonna use the key. Oh, this isn't the chest, Tim. This is a curio place. All right, let's use the bandages. We really want the surprise, and I don't want to take any extra stress. Speaking of stress, we should probably do something like this with you, unwanted. Alright, we stun the back two to start. Oh, not! Okay. Let's maybe kill one of them. I don't want to take all that blight and or mark target damage. These two can only hit the front rank, so I'm going to use revenge. 
Then we're gonna try to kill the one that we damaged. Please bleed it. Good. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Yeah, I, I, this ability, that ability feels fine to me, the revenge. All right, what are we doing now, Tim? We're going to kill this one. Let's withstand. Get your prot up and heal some of that stress damage you're taking. I was worried about that. Ooh, thank goodness for the disease resist. Oh, like, on both of them. Oh, come on. Come on! As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Let's heal? You'll be endlessly attacked by both of them. Blight them. Not a good chance. Like 80%? Masterfully executed. It's gonna die in two rounds. I'm gonna spend these two rounds healing. Let's use an emboldening vapors on herself. No. On. On you. Unwanted. A little bit more healing before we end up in the boss room, which I'm pretty sure is south of us. Right. What are you dropping, Tim? We got the scout first off. Okay. Two curios and the boss room. I don't need the keys. We'll take more deeds at the moment. And we'll see what these curios are. That will let me drop the anti venom. If they're not more tree barks, etc. And I guess we're we're not I don't think we're gonna be staying after this fight after all everyone. In radiance, may we find victory. So I want the money more than the torches. We're not coming back here, so we'll have We'll have you drink from this. Okay, I was hoping it was a heal as well, but it was not. Let's go to the boss room and do this battle. Hello. We just got rid of the keys, but we have anti-venom, which also works on this. Deeds. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We can always leave after this battle if we do well and try to make our way all the way around to the start room and then south if we want to check this and around it for curios. We do still have the, the Jade Coin. We'll make up our mind about that when we're done with the fight. We only have enough food for two food checks as well, and that's quite a bit to go. But let's see how well we do. So we want to eat now, and then just leave. You, you know what? Uh, yeah, forget it. We're gonna we're gonna eat now, and we have enough for one check. Well, Tim, you still have to win. Do you have everything you want to do here as well? I'm probably just gonna be endlessly hewing with you, unwanted opinions during this battle, not revenging anyone. So let's do this at the moment. 
I need Iron Swan. I want Adrenaline Rush. I want Wicked Hack. This will be fine. Let's take Suppressing Fire over Mark Target here. If the matchmaker's got like one hit point left, I'll want the Suppressing Fire in. And you've got everything you need. Alright, let's do it. I'm nervous about this. I don't want to lose everybody to this. Alright, some AoE damage starting. Oh god, didn't kill it. Good. I don't think he'll be able to act. We'll be fine, Unwanted. We'll be fine. I'm gonna risk this and assume he doesn't get to shoot if he's stunned. Unless he unst... Yeah, I don't think he'll get to shoot because he's stunned. Let's instead... Put some damage on the back guy. This will be a good test anyway. Good. Uh, can we stun them again? Let's do this. Oh, darn you. I wanted you to... To perform beyond one. Oh no! That's a shame. Shame we have an afflicted person. Here we go. <laughs> you feel so alive. You feel so alive. And just like that, we're doomed. We have to run. No, we're, we're, we're staying. We're going to stay. I hate you so much, Poetic Tube, right now. So much. Eradicated. Get you off of Death's door. Can we recover from this? I don't think we can. I don't think. Nope, we can't. Unnerved, unbalanced. Wow, poetic tube, you just killed all of us with with with, with what you did. We we've got to run. This skirmish may be lost, but the battle may yet be won. Crimson Curse killed us. How about that? ruminate on this fleeting failure. The campaign is long, and victory will come. Yeah, it will, but holy crap, what a nightmare that was for us. Thanks, Poetic Tube, for killing North on us. Dark Temptation. Man, so many failures happening. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. Luho 1346 engaged in flagellation, recovered 81 stress. Pincer of Fate gained Faithless, recovered 81 stress. Apathy Knight recovered 80, 86 stress. KK recovered 70. Chris Bataille cured hysterical blindness. Lord Gem Kingrock removed Light Sensitive, locked Stout. I locked Evasive, a bunch of blood stuff happened. And that ends this one. Holy crap! That was terrible! That is one of the reasons why I hate doing battles with afflicted people. Because losing your... Losing your turn is such a huge thing. That sucked. Well, to be fair, we also missed the attack. So... There was nothing... I, there was nothing we could do. We... We couldn't hit it with our... With you unwanted opinions. Poetic Tube decided to not shoot and instead... Bandage. We didn't hit the creature because we couldn't. I don't think we could have with 
north, and then we missed it again with sticks. So, oh well. All right, that does it for us, everybody. The first person's now in our graveyard. Sorry about that, North. You can thank Poetic Tube, though. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.